Photographs of beautiful landscapes don't have to be necessarily the whole landscape at the same time. You can pick out little details and abstracts that say just as much about where you are as something that takes in the entire view. For this frame of this lake, for example, as we angle our camera up, we start picking out the skyline, but also lots of extra little subjects just dotted around, and it's all a bit cluttered and messy. If we angle down a bit, we can fill the frame with just water details, just ripples. So finding an angle, I guess, rather than one with extra bits and bobs in and just coming down and filling the frame up with just water and ripples. And, and what we'll look to do here is find a filter that does that some justice, something with a nice bit of contrast as the light falls off from these really nice kind of speckled highlights here down to this calmer bit down there, finding something, a look that gives you kind of a lot of punch and contrast and makes the most of the difference between the, the highlights of your frame and the dark areas and the shadows that really punches up the bright white highlight areas of our frame and darkens the shadows to give us something with a lot of punch. And so this frame right here, I think, is one that feels very calm, very tranquil, looks really good without taking in the whole vista at once.